Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 19th through to the 25th of March 2014. Significant anomalies registered over the last few weeks in the GD GPS, also the total electron content and also significant ionospheric anomalies indicate a heightened potential for a significant volcanic eruption or a powerful earthquake during this watch period and also a series of planetary connections indicate a heightened period of significant activities that must be paid close attention to during this watch. We're now looking at the March ephemeris. Now during this window we have two very strong and powerful planetary alignments. They involve Venus and Saturn and almost simultaneously we have the alignment between Mars and Uranus. Now these are extremely powerful alignments. Now especially the Mars and Uranus aspects are important as they have been associated with very powerful volcanic eruptions in the past and I do feel there's a possibility of another significant event during this time window, possibly even a VE5 plus eruption. So it's definitely a time frame we need to watch and monitor and I do feel a powerful event may be possible during this time window. We're now looking at the important lunar influences for the month and they are quite powerful as we have lunar declination and also lunar perigee occurring both on the same day, March 23rd. Now this is a concern as when this occurs simultaneously it often coincides with very powerful and shallow earthquakes here on the Earth and this is the case this time round. When you consider that the lunar declination and also lunar perigee are occurring at the same time in both of these alignments, I'm concerned of the potential for a very large earthquake or a significant volcanic eruption. We're now looking at the exact longitudinal or overhead position of the Sun and Moon at the time of the lunar declination which has a strong Indian Ocean and also Atlantic Ocean symmetry which may give us a good indication of where this event or possible volcanic eruption may be. We're now looking at the graphic ephemeris data. We see a significant series of crossings occurring March 20 and 24. Now these are powerful interactions combined with Uranus and Mars we could see a very powerful volcanic eruption, possibly even a VEI5 event, so it's definitely a time frame we need to watch and monitor. It is also worth noting that Venus will have significant influences during this time window as well. March 23rd will see Venus reaching its maximum western elongation. The last time it did so, a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake struck in the Sea of Okhotsk back on August 14, 2012. As mentioned, I feel that Venus will be a strong player during this watch period as not only will be moving in between the alignment of Sun and Saturn at the same time reaching its maximum western elongation with respect to the Earth. Now this is forming a 90 degree right angle triangle, significant planetary geometry taking place as well as a series of very powerful lunar aspects and also other planetary alignments. This is definitely a time frame we need to watch and monitor. A very powerful event may be possible based on these interactions and planetary symmetry. We're now looking at some powerful ionospheric anomalies that have been picked up, especially over the last four weeks, which have caught my attention. Now these are important anomalies. We see the total electron content right off the charts here. We also see the GD, GDPS and also ionospheric anomaly reaching 16 megahertz well and truly across the Pacific. Now these readings are extremely high, which may be indicative of radon gas emissions coming out of active fault lines across the Pacific Ocean. Now the last time we had such significant readings was back in February 2013 where an 8 magnitude earthquake struck the Santa Cruz Islands region. I do feel that all of these anomalies foreshadow something quite large heading our way so it's definitely a time we need to monitor and closely observe. Now combining all data and analysis, plotting a region on the earth that could be at risk for this very powerful event and the main area for focus for this watch will be the South Pacific Islands, the regions of Vanuatu, Fiji, Tonga, Samoa, Santa Cruz Islands or the Solomon Islands could be at risk for a very powerful and impulsive event in the coming days. So this is definitely a time we need to watch and monitor and those living in the region should be prepared for a very powerful event during this time frame. We have over 50 volcanoes in the shaded region during this watch period which are of interest. I have handpicked four. In Vanuatu we have the Yasur and also the Ambrian volcanoes Across in the Santa Cruz Islands we have the Tinacula and also a strong and active volcano across in American Samoa. Now it is worth noting that the magnitude 6.9 earthquake that struck offshore Northern California occurred on the same day of a Moon-Jupiter conjunction with only five hours of separation between these events. Now for more information about this Moon-Jupiter conjunction 
More information will be available in the SolarWatcher.net newsletter. When you're looking at the current solar conditions, we do see that the X-ray background is currently at B8 level, which is extremely weak. This is due to all active regions on the solar corona or on the earth-facing side of the disk having very weak magnetic fields. This is reflected on this data set. Looking at the solar wind speeds, and they are fluctuating at around 300 km a second, which are extremely low. So while solar winds remain at this level, there is high possibilities of very strong events and shallow. So this is a concern during this watch period, as solar conditions are extremely quiet. And wrapping up the video, a very strong coronal mass ejection was released from the Sun March 14th. Now I have made a blog entry on the website regarding a possible tropical cyclone development from this coronal mass ejection, but the very unusual nature of this blast could be indicative of a volcanic eruption, so that is definitely worth keeping a close note of for this watch period. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.